In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use an iPad as a teleprompter display and mirror flip everything on the screen so it shows up right when you're looking at the reflection. What's up, business heroes? If you already know what this is about, you can use the timestamp below to jump ahead to the step-by-step. -step. But if you want a little bit more context, teleprompters are really powerful tools. They're not just for news anchors and State of the Union addresses. If you spend any amount of time making video calls, whether you're in sales or coaching or marketing, they can drastically level up the quality of your calls and the connection you build with the person on the other side of the camera. Instead of having the camera above or to the side of the screen and looking really disinterested or having to play eyeball ping pong with the camera Ding. and the display to pretend that you're looking at the person by looking at the camera, but you can't actually see who you're talking to, teleprompters solve this by allowing you to put the camera directly behind the glass so you can stare the other person straight in the eyes and it simulates an actual face-to-face -face conversation that much more closely. And iPads are just asking to be used as a teleprompter display. They're lightweight, they're really thin, you probably already have one, and most teleprompter kits are designed to be used with an iPad. And if you have a newer model, it's probably compatible with Apple's sidecar feature, which allows you to mirror the content of your Mac onto your iPad so you can use it as a second display. Unfortunately, most teleprompter apps are designed only for more conventional teleprompter use cases where you are reading a scrolling script on a screen. So it only flips the text anything else is gonna look a little wonky and backwards when you're looking at the reflection. And I wanna do more than that. I want everything to be flipped so I can use my teleprompter as a second display. Now I get this is a pretty niche use case, but I was still surprised by how hard it was to find a solution that could handle this. There's some older software that could do this, but it doesn't work with the newer Apple Silicon Macs and iPads anymore. And there are hardware solutions like the Luna Display by Astropad, or I could just pick up a dedicated teleprompter monitor, but that kind of defeats the whole purpose of using an iPad for this. Also, both of those options would require me to pony up north of $100, and do I actually care about this that much? Fortunately, I finally found a solution that works really well. It's software-based, and it only costs $15, and it's called Better Display. You can download Better Display by going to betterdisplay.pro. That redirects us to this GitHub repository where we will see the name of the person we have to thank for this tool is Wade Haber. Thank you, Wade Haber. We can also read about all the other features that are packed into this tool. You can do a lot of cool things. The use cases go way beyond what I am using it for, but let's go ahead and download this here. And we will install it in the normal Apple way, just drag and drop. And when we run Better Display, we'll see a new icon appear in our toolbar. We have some controls for our main display. And down here, we also see we can create a new dummy. That is what we're going to do. We're going to create new dummy and go to iPad Air 2020, because that is the display that I want to use this for. It was created. Now, when we open up Better Display, we'll see some additional controls for our dummy. 5941, I believe that's the aspect ratio. We can set the resolution, we can mirror this to another display, or stream this to another display, and that is what we're going to do. But before we go any further, we need to set up our other display. Let's activate our iPad as an external monitor. We'll click on the Control Center icon, click Screen Mirroring, and choose David's iPad, or whatever your iPad is called, and we can use this as a separate display. And we also have some additional options here. We're going to leave that be for now, but we're going to go to Display Settings and just make sure that our iPad is where we want it to be. Here we can arrange our displays. So let's actually drag our iPad. I want this to be over to the right. I want the iPad to be on the right because that is where my display is situated physically. And I'm going to move the Mac Mini 
dummy next to that. We'll click done. So now our iPad is being used as an extension of our Mac display and I can drag window over here and it looks cool, but in the teleprompter it is reflected. So it's showing up backwards. To fix this, we're going to go back to better display. Now we see sidecar display settings here. Let's collapse the LG and sidecar controls. We'll focus on dummy and we'll go to stream dummy and we will choose sidecar as our target for our stream. Now the iPad is showing the dummy display. We notice it's still backwards. So our final step in this whole magic trick is to go back to better display and under stream dummy, we will toggle on flip horizontally. Ta-da! And now the entire display is showing correctly. And one last little bit of housekeeping. Let's finesse the resolution. We'll go to set resolution and we'll choose something a little bit lower. Let's try 1475. So everything appears a little bit larger and more readable at this size and distance. So there you go. Now I can use my teleprompter as a second display and I can look you in the eye when we're on a video call together. To recap, we used better display to create a dummy display that we mirror onto our iPad and then flip. So when it's reflected in the mirror, everything looks the way it's supposed to. You can download and use the core features of better display for free, but you will need the pro version in order to unlock the ability to flip your display. But you can try out the pro features for I believe it's two weeks to make sure it does what you need it to do. And then you can purchase a license to unlock all the pro features. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more tips and tools that will help you upgrade your video calls, your marketing, your small business in general. And if you want some more recommendations on lights and cameras and other equipment that will really level up your video quality, be sure to check out this video right here.